Child abuse is rising in Vigo County. Experts say we're seeing more cases as kids leave their homes and head back to school. News 10's Jordan Kudish has followed these numbers for months and new for you this morning. She's in our newsroom now with an update on what she's seeing. Well, John Aliyah, during the pandemic, we were told to stay home. That's where it was safest. We could keep that virus from spreading, but advocates say that that's not a good thing when it comes to child abuse. In fact, I spoke with Emily Perry over at Susie's place and Perry says abuse is more likely to happen at home by the hands of a family member. While reports for child abuse were lower in the past few months, that doesn't mean something isn't going on behind closed doors. Perry says now is the time to be the voice for those who don't have one of their own. Just like we talk about other parts of our kids day and lives, we want to be talking to them about safety. We want to talk to them about if something doesn't feel right, it's probably not right. And here's what you can do to get help if you need it. And just as you heard, if something does not feel right, it probably isn't. It's important to report that abuse. If you take a look at your screen, you'll see the number for the neglect and child hotline. That's 1-800-800-5556. We're putting live in the newsroom, Jordan Kudich, News 10.